Hey guys, how's it going? It's Najam. So I didn't make a video yesterday, which was Monday, and that's the day I normally make a video. Um, and that's because I was waiting for these to come in. So these are the FA ones from Fio. I got the FH5, and I do really, really like them. I mean, I actually love them. But I wanted to try out what a single driver IEM sounds like, because to me, when I moved back to the DT770 Pros, and, you know, the other earbud stuff got... Uh, with a single driver they actually sounded a bit more natural so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and unbox these all right so in this video i'm gonna unbox them and do a first impressions i'll have my review coming up later on this is just gonna be like a first impression kind of video um there's not a lot of information about these out there uh, let's go ahead and see how they packed in. Um, oh, it's a magnetic side. Hope you can see this. There we go. Um, yeah, there they are. The FA, FA ones. Uh, packed in just a bit like the FH5s. I'll give you a close up of those. Um, and you've. Uh, yeah, You've got the case, the one that came with the uh, FH5s. It's the same one, the hard case. I do like this case. Um, and you've got the tips in here. Uh, hang on a minute. Yeah, uh, okay, I think they're all over. And, um, oh, flipping it. And you've got a whole lot of crap over here, which I'm not gonna get into. Let's go ahead and take a look at the FH wounds themselves. I'm gonna take them out. Um, so I was actually into, um, I was actually thinking about getting the Campfire Audio Comet or the Atlas, but I mean they're expensive, so you know I would have to save up for those. Um, these ones cost like 90 pounds, so that's quite nice. So a single balanced armature um, I do love the bass on the FH5. That is just some amazing bass. I was listening to them last night and I mean <laughs> Bro, the bass on those is mental. It is just mental um, It reminded me of having a subwoofer which I never had before so I don't know why I said it reminded me of it, but um, Yeah, something like that um, I have a feeling I might like these better than the FH5s, but the bass not, might not be as nice. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to change the tips. Um, bless them. I, I do like the cable more because it's more flexible, but I think it's lower quality. Let's go ahead and give you a close up of this. So there they are, the FH5s. Um, they look pretty nice, I would say. Um, Why on earth did they give me the grey one? I actually chose the um I don't think I, I don't know, um Yeah whatever, I uh, will just have to deal with some things. Um thank god I actually got them though. Um But I mean yeah, that's one side and that's the other. Um yeah let's go ahead and give them a quick listening test. Oh this is nice as well, look at this. To um tie the cable up. So that's really really nice. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and give them a quick listen. Uh, and then we'll just come come back in the uh, review. Alright, these ones have a much better seal on my ears than the FH5s. Um, they block out everything. So I can't really hear, like, what's going around. Uh, let's just see, innit?
Um, I don't think they sound as good as the FH5s, but they sound pretty good. Um, I think we'll have to go and let them burn in. Um, I'll, I guess I'll come back and I'll try out the different tips as well to see which one works best with my ears. And um, yeah, I'll let you know how they, how they sound, but I don't think I like them as much as the FH5s. Um, that's the first impressions. Um, yeah, maybe it's up to the cable. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll see you in another video.